Welcome back to Science Click. Today, general relativity. What is gravitation? Gravitation, or gravity, is a fundamental phenomenon in the universe which tends to bring objects closer together. If the apple falls to the ground, the moon orbits the earth, and the earth orbits the sun, that is all because of gravity, which operates between these objects and prevents them from moving away one from the other. At first glance, we might think that gravitation is a force that acts by attracting objects according to their mass. The more massive an object, the more it pulls other objects in the universe in its direction. This representation of gravity as a force enables us to understand the behaviour of objects when they fall, or the way in which planets go around the sun. However, in reality, Certain subtle indicators show that gravitation is not really a force. For instance, when we observe a satellite falling towards the Earth, if gravity was a force, it should fall straight towards the centre of the planet. But when we carry out this experiment, we see that its trajectory is slightly curved, following the direction of the rotation of the Earth. Another indicator is the fact that Mercury's orbit changes orientation with a certain speed as time goes by. If gravity was a force, then we would be able to accurately predict the speed with which this orbit should change. However, what we observe is that the orbit changes with a slightly different speed. If we take into account these subtle indicators, we come to the conclusion that gravitation is by no means a force. Capturing its nature requires us to entirely review our understanding of the world, of the entire universe, as well as of space and time. This is what we call general relativity. For its elaboration, general relativity bases itself almost entirely on the equivalence principle. The equivalence principle states that all objects fall in the same way. It says that freefall is not the action of a force. It is not an accelerated movement of the object falling. Rather, freefall is the natural movement for all entities. When objects fall on Earth, this is equivalent to these objects actually being at rest, while it is in reality the ground which accelerates towards them. Contrary to our naive intuition, it is the act of falling which constitutes a natural movement, a rest position in sorts. While actually being motionless on the surface of the Earth comes down to being in constant resistance to freefall and constantly exerting an upward acceleration. It is for this reason that we actually only feel our weight once we have touched the ground. During freefall, our body follows its natural movement and it is only when touching the ground that we feel our weight the action of our feet putting a stop to the fall. In general relativity, gravitation is thus no longer a force. We could almost say that gravitation does not exist, that it is a sort of illusion. If entities give off the impression that they are falling and that they attract each other, this is because they are moving naturally, being at rest, but in a universe whose geometry is curved. Objects do not attract each other, they merely move about in straight lines, but they also curve space-time around them as a result of their mass. This is what influences the trajectories of other surrounding objects. The most important idea in general relativity is that all objects that possess a mass distort space-time around them. To understand, if we conceptualise our universe as an immense web, a grid of space and time, then a massive object will indeed have the effect of distorting the space-time around it. The notions of distance, of direction, or even of the flow of time are thus distorted, altered by the presence of the object. Naturally, an object will have a tendency to move about in a straight line. For example, if we throw an apple in the middle of intergalactic emptiness, it would continue its trajectory in a straight line, always with the same speed. But what if we were to throw this same apple next to a massive object like Earth? Since it is so massive, Earth bends space-time around itself. 
straight lines become distorted, curved, and intertwined in the direction of the planet. As such, when we release the apple, it goes in a straight line, but since straight lines have been distorted by the mass of the Earth, the apple gradually comes closer to the ground. This effect is precisely what we call gravitation. When an object is very massive, it distorts the very structure of the universe around it, curving straight lines in its direction, and consequently, all the objects around it will have a tendency to follow these curved lines and hence get closer to the object. To better understand, let us imagine simultaneously the following two scenarios. On the one hand, two observers are moving on a straight upward line, on a flat plane, which is not a curved surface. On the other, the two observers are moving in a straight line towards the north, but on the surface of the Earth, which is a sphere, so this time a curved surface. In the first scenario, for the flat surface, the two observers will travel in parallel straight lines. In this way, they will never get closer one to the other. However, in the second situation, on the surface of the Earth, by walking straight, our two observers will oddly end up meeting when they reach the North Pole. Although each of them has been walking in a perfect straight line, due to the curvature of the Earth, and consequently the fact that straight lines are bent on its surface, these two people will feel like a mysterious attraction force is making them progressively get closer one to the other. With this example, we understand better how gravitation can emerge from the curvature of space-time. Objects seem to be attracted to each other, and their trajectories seem to progressively meet up. But in reality, this phenomenon is due to the curvature of straight lines along which objects move. To illustrate this peculiar phenomena, which appear in general relativity, let's focus on one fascinating object of our universe, the black hole. A black hole is a very massive object whose matter is mostly contained in one single point. We call this central point a gravitational singularity. At this precise spot in the universe, the fabric of space-time is distorted to infinity and modern science is not able to understand fully what happens there. Close to the singularity, the curvature of space-time is so great that all straight lines point in this direction. Here, no object can hope escaping the black hole. Even for light rays, all possible paths lead towards the singularity. The black hole emits no light, and neither matter nor radiation can escape it. For this reason, we see it as an entirely black sphere. Outside this capture zone, beyond this limit that we call its horizon, the black hole behaves similarly to any other object. When we are close to the horizon, it is impossible to stay in stable orbit around the black hole. The distortion of space-time is too great, which renders the trajectories of objects chaotic and difficult to predict at this distance. However, as soon as we find ourselves sufficiently far from the horizon, as is the case for a planet or a star, it is possible to gravitate in a stable manner around the black hole. An object passing nearby will be slightly deviated but will still be able to escape its attraction. In particular, light rays coming from distant stars change direction when they get close to the black hole. For this reason, if we observe a black hole face on, we can see a distorted image of faraway stars, which are actually behind it. This is what we call gravitational lensing. Another interesting phenomenon appears when the black hole rotates on itself. In the case of a black hole in quick rotation, this will slightly pull the fabric of space-time into the rotation. An object falling towards the black hole, travelling on a straight line, will thus be deviated according to the rotation of the black hole. This very strange effect is also applicable to the Earth, whose rotation on itself leads to a slight deviation in the fall of object. Finally, one of the most noteworthy phenomena is what we call gravitational time dilation. When we find ourselves close to massive objects like a black hole, the straight lines that we follow are distorted not only in space, but also, and mostly, 
in time. The flow of time will therefore be altered according to the distance to which we are from the massive object. At a great distance from the black hole, where the curvature of space-time is almost imperceptible, time flows more or less like elsewhere. However, the closer we get to the black hole, the more we notice that the flow of time slows down for our clock. Close to the horizon of the black hole, space-time is so distorted that it is possible that for each second that goes by for us, a whole year would go by for a distant observer. In general, the closer we are to a source of gravitation, in other words a massive object like the Sun or the Earth, the slower the flow of our proper time. At the surface of the Earth, for example, if we compare the internal clocks of two observers, one being at the base and the other at the top of the Eiffel Tower, we would see that the internal clock of the person at the bottom is slightly slower since this person is closer to the centre of the Earth. Typically, for each year that goes by, the person at the bottom of the tower ages a microsecond less than the person at the top. This time dilation effect is very subtle, but extremely important. On Earth, it is crucial to take it into account when we design GPS satellites such that we can ensure the synchronization of their internal clocks. To sum up, general relativity gives a comprehensive framework to grasp the phenomenon of gravitation. When a massive object lies in space-time, it distorts the geometry around it, curving straight lines in time and in space, which in turn leads to the deviation of surrounding objects and modifies their perception of time. Apart from gravitation, general relativity also brings about a number of other surprising consequences. One of these is the fact that space-time is not distorted instantaneously. Just like a fabric that we might poke, if an object appears out from nowhere, its gravitational influence would take some time to spread progressively through space and time, curving the geometry of the universe as it progresses, always at the speed of light. This particularity leads to the existence of gravitational waves, phenomena of distortion of space and time which propagate through the universe at the speed of light. These gravitational waves are generated light years away from the Earth by cataclysmic events such as the fusion of two black holes. They pass through us regularly, slightly distorting our planet and everything on it as they go by. Finally, this idea that our universe might have a distorted geometry begs the question of its shape at a larger scale, and fuels numerous imaginations such as the possible existence of geometric shortcuts through space and time, still very speculative at the moment, which we call wormholes.